Now I'm going to tell you about which roses I have planted on this uh, arbor that I've created. This one right here is Zephyrine Druin Rose. And I, I sing that rose's praises all the time. She is the only rose I know. I, I'm going to call her totally thorn free. Uh, some people say she, but I've never found a thorn on Zephyrine Druin Rose. And she has a beautiful, dark, deep pink uh, bloom in the spring. She's a beautiful vine. She has these purple little, her, her new growth is purple. Her old growth is green. She's growing right here because she does not have thorns and she will not try to bite me when I come out here and feed my birds. So that's right there. I, I've skipped this area. This area is my, uh, that's off topic iris. And I, I'm going to, uh, include a link that discusses all these different plants. Come across here, a short camellia, October magic orchid, which is a light pink and white mix, beautiful, but she won't be short and she won't obscure my view from my table and the other side of my garden. Over there, I have Peggy Martin Rose which is a massive rose. And th that's the reason that I needed the, the, the commercial grade grid, which I have put her in that cage there, will not contain her, but it will help train her and support her as she moves up the grid across this fence made from the LCRS interlocking fence system Sorry about that view back there. I haven't worked on that area yet much. Okay, so right here is um, Louise Odier, which is a very pr fragrant, uh, deep pink rose. But she's only four to five feet tall. So again, she's a climber. She'll climb a little bit, but then she won't totally obscure the view back there, plus Peggy Martin is going to arch over her. This one is um, Earth Angel, Parfuma Earth Angel, which is a, a creamy, light, fragile looking rose. Old fashioned peony cupped rose, beautiful habit. It's, these, these two are fragrant. Across the hall, I have placed, this one is um, Laguna Rose, Arbor Rose Laguna, which is, no, I don't know, no, I have to be sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is, which is thorny, but it, it, it climbs about eight feet tall. It'll come up this arbor arch both ways, and over here I have Claire Austin Rose, which is about 12 feet tall, and she's white. So white with the red bee balm, with uh, <clears throat> pinks. I'm pretty, there's another rose back there. I think that's Kiss Me Kate, but I'm not quite sure. I've kind of lost track of who that is. Sunflowers are growing there that the birds have planted for me. By the way, I'm gonna plant some more sunflowers out here today. This is Amethyst Falls, an American wisteria that is also growing up a support that is, that is the, the commercial grade grid. One last word. Notice that I butt two sides together, usually in a 90 degree angle, but this one's not quite 90 degree. And that butting of the sides together creates the, the, the triangular three-sided support system that I learned about in high school geometry. I think that's the only thing I learned in geometry. But I, it has stu stuck with me and you'll see, you'll see I have those three-sided support structures everywhere. Go across, wire a, a three-sided support structure 
it's everywhere it's everywhere and that's how i build my arbors <laughs>